A Durham TV viewer recently asked me if she should be concerned because her sunscreen with an SPF of 50 plus said on the back that, quote, does not protect against skin cancer or premature aging, unquote. Do you think she should be concerned? What does this really mean? Hello, I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, and welcome to Durham TV. Two years ago, the FDA changed the rules about how sunscreens need to be labeled to better advise consumers about the real protection they're getting. And today, that new labeling is starting to show up on the containers. The two rules that were changed dealt with protection against sunscreens coming off in the water, and the other was making sure there's adequate protection for both UVB and UVA rays to guard against not only sunburn, but also premature aging and skin cancer. And it's this second rule that's relevant to this question. In order for a sunscreen to afford adequate protection for consumers, it has to protect against UVB rays, which means it has to have an SPF of at least 15. And it also has to protect against UVA rays, which means that it has to have broad spectrum protection because the UVA rays, again, are the ones that tend to cause premature photoaging as well as skin cancer. If a sunscreen under the new labeling laws doesn't have both of those criteria, adequate UVB and UVA protection, then it has to be labeled on the back, does not protect against skin cancer or premature aging, period. If it does have adequate SPF protection against UVB, it can then be labeled that it protects against sunburn, but without the UVA protection, it has to be labeled does not protect against cancer or premature aging. So the sunscreen that this viewer found, since it had an SPF of 50, which we know is adequate, clearly did not have adequate UVA protection, therefore mandating the warning does not protect against skin cancer or premature aging. My advice is that if you find that on the back of a sunscreen you want to use, look for another sunscreen that doesn't have that warning to ensure that you'll have adequate protection against both UVB and UVA damage. Please join me again at DermTV.com. If you have a question, please send it to me by visiting DermTV.com slash question. I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, and thank you for watching today.